A piece of local history drops anchor a few miles east of Cincinnati in New Richmond. The American Riverboat, American Queen Riverboat from Pittsburgh is stopping by for a visit. And Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us live from New Richmond with a look at just how big the riverboat business used to be. Rich. Curtis, as you can see, we've got quite a celebration going on out here in near Richmond. We've got crowds all along the riverbank. We've got Dixieland bands. We've got clowns and balloons. We've got Mardi Gras beads and the guest of honor just pulled up just a couple of minutes ago. You see her right there, the American Queen. She's going to be here for a couple of hours and it is all part of New Richmond's bicentennial celebration. For the village of New Richmond, welcoming a riverboat back to its banks is like embracing a long-lost child. Ernie Wagner, captain of the Delta Queen from 1962 to 1979, lived in New Richmond much of his life. As a boy, Bob Lees frequently went to work with Captain Wagner and rode home on the boat. At the time, it just seemed like the thing you do, but it, it was amazing the, the, looking back, and that's one of the reasons why I think it caused me to, uh, part, of, part of the reason for actually moving back to my hometown, moving back here from Hong Kong. Uh, but it, it's just something that the, the, the river is part of our DNA in this village and steamboats uh, is, the, is, the, is the sort of icing on the cake that comes with uh, growing up in a river town. Close to 70 steamboats like the Tacoma and the Shiloh were built in New Richmond, where the hardware store now stands used to be the steamboat office. Many of the grand old boats were actually assembled along the riverbank with lumber cut down and sawn at local mills. Their connection to the community remains strong. Every time a steamboat comes by or to New Richmond, uh, a crowd gathers on the waterfront as our tribute to them. And, um, and also just the majesty of seeing a steamboat on this waterfront is very, very special in this historic village. Right next door to Captain Wagner's home is the historic old home of riverboat captain David Gibson. Just in front, a riverboat memorial featuring the huge air intakes of the Delta Queen. But recapturing our waterfront and turning it into a place where we celebrate history, culture, uh, music, um, and uh, uh, but very, very heavily. I, I like to say our history is our future from the economic uh, development standpoint. Now some of the crew from the American Queen have come ashore here. As you can see, some of the crew, of course, still on board along with the passengers. You know, one of the things that is such a part of all of this is to hear that great old steam whistle blow. They used to call it raising hullabaloo. And unfortunately, in many communities, that's now a violation of, believe it or not, the noise ordinances. However, here in New Richmond, it's perfectly legal. We've heard that whistle a couple of times so far, and we will be listening for it again over the next couple of hours, and you'll hear her coming all the way down the river. In New Richmond, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Curtis? Rich, I know the boat will only be there for a couple of hours, but can people walk on board, take a look around? As a matter of fact, you know, just like hullabaloo is an issue, actually they can't. The civilians cannot go on board, and it's all really because of security reasons. It's part of homeland security, believe it or not. You can only come on and uh, or go on and come off in designated areas that have been swept and cleared, and it's all, you know, it's transportation along the river system. So I guess you can understand it from that perspective. But uh, now, right now, it's a matter of looking and enjoying here in New Richmond, and we'll be doing a lot of that throughout the evening. Right. Curtis? She's a grand sight. Rich, thank you. The boat will be in Cincinnati overnight offloading passengers and taking on new ones. Because of flooding on the Mississippi, though, she's going to head out to Paducah and return to Cincinnati next Wednesday. For more information about the American Queen or her itinerary, you can go to our website and hit the Get It button.